What a save! Holy moly, lads, that's a super save. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And today we are taking a quick player review of, as I call him, Aqua. No, it's Ochawa, right? This guy was free as a present campaign. He was a free reward, so everybody should have him. You'll see here that I'm just training him up. You can see all the levels that it takes to give him. I mean, you're pretty much going to have to give a lot of training points into him. And whether he's worth it or not, you will kind of know by the end of this video. I mean, you don't need to play that many games to test out keepers. And when you've played the game as long as me and you kind of understand what works and doesn't work, I'm going to break it down for you very, very easily here. I didn't max out Ochawa. Uh, reason being is this is on my Road to Glory account and I just wanted to test him out at different levels. So we trained him in, you know, level one. We trained him at this level that you're seeing here. Um, we played about maybe 10 games with him across uh, co-op and on everything else and you can see here you can pause the video I will show you the final build at the end of how I would recommend him but with these stats that you're going to see here we're pretty much going to be maxing out his jump and his mobility and his versatility in goals. But to be fair, lads, there is a big difference between using a big, huge beast of a goalkeeper, which we'll get into, and using these kind of smaller, kind of flighty goalkeepers, which are kind of quick on their feet, quick to move the ball, but they do have a couple of limitations, right? So... As I said, you don't need to play that many games because a lot of the players are modeled on each other. You know, so the likes of Casillas, um, Ochawa, Kaylor Navas, they're not going to be comparable to, you know, Oblak or Donnarumma or the big type goalkeepers, right, that, you know, command a really good presence. Now, Ochawa is actually quite decent. You can see his reactions. You can see that his reflexes here especially are cat-like. And this is what you get from the smaller base goalkeepers, right? Just rewind that back, instant replay. Let's have a look at this, right? Beautiful little ball in, great pass, and then a, a brilliant cat-like safe, as I said. Like Catwoman, lads, this is how you want to do it. You want versatility, mobility, Casillas, you know, as I said, Ochawa. Chawa is very good at those kind of saves, especially if you don't do a lot of manual goalkeeping, okay? So if you're covering the net, right, the big thing that I'm looking for is kind of where the ball is going to be parried out. And this is a big, big weakness of some of these goalkeepers, right? You'll see here again, straight into the danger area, and it's a simple tap-in finish from Vinicius Jr. Now, you don't have this problem when we take a look at the bigger type goalkeepers, right? So anyone that watches me will know that I'm a massive, massive fan of Donna, right? Donna is my favorite goalkeeper in the game, but you can insert Courtois, Oblak, you can also insert Czech, Schmeichel, any of these big type goalkeepers that have, a, that have a height over 190, 192, 193, anything above that CM. And then also, if they are a big bulky goalkeeper as well, you don't need to focus on jump, right? So the three stats you're going to be looking for here are the three main components are going to be awareness, reflexes, and that height, okay? The rest of the stuff is kind of like, uh, it's not really as important. But when you take a look at Ochawa, right? His height is going to be a concern. And I'm going to show you why, even with his jump. If you want to, to, to kind of find a sweet spot, right? If you have a goalkeeper that's like 187, 188, and you're able to increase uh, his stats, you know, with good jump, good awareness, good reflexes, and you're able to get him into, you know, the high 80s to get that boost with the form arrow and still have that jump. There are keepers out there, which I will cover in a future video, but this is what you're going to get a lot of the time when you have a smaller base goalkeeper in, right? Now, this is this is a concern, I think, since the last uh, gameplay. I mean, if I had done a run and goals there position-wise, he's not going to be out as far, but you can actually see how high up he jumps. So he, it's not that he's not able to jump. So the stats are working. It's more so just the way that the height works in this game for goalkeepers, right? I've done a lot of testing on this. As you guys know, you know, I go overboard with the research and stuff. But this is a concern with the smaller base goalkeepers. Yes, the likes of Casillas and Ochawa can be beast reflex keepers for you and save you more often than not. Um, again, you're going to see another rush of blood to the head here. He's clearing the ball. He comes out and he punches it clear, right? So there are good components about him. You can see that the jump there isn't an issue with this card. It's not about the jump stat it's more about under high balls um, and stuff like that now one big uh, aspect of this card as well which I really like is the smaller goalkeepers for whatever reason seem to be better passers right so again I'm open to uh, somebody kind of giving their thoughts in the description below or in the comments below and let me know what you guys think because as as with a lot of stuff on eFootball you know, the, de the definitive kind of advice comes from people that really know the game inside and out. And I've played literally hundreds of hours over the last couple of years. There's a lot of features in this game that have trans you know, been, been transported over or transferred over from Pez, right? 
And you can see here that we're going on, on the counter. It's a beautiful low punt trajectory player skill kick out that we have here. And that's going to be something that you will need to take a look at if you are looking to use your goalkeeper as kind of somebody that plays a little bit of ball, right? It's kind of like having, you know, somebody like Donnarumma and goals is a bit of a tank compared to Ochawa, which is a little bit more zippy, kind of, you know, getting counterattacks going. So let me know what you guys think, right? Let me know. I would say that he's probably not recommended. Uh, I know he's free, but you are, if you are light on trainer points, I would definitely go elsewhere. Um, but yeah, that is it for me, lads. Just a short, quick video as we do, and I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.